Hello guys, my name is Bernard Avale of CTFM City TV. Have you noticed that when something confirms what we already like or believe, we naturally tend to accept and share without actually verifying if it's true or not? This is known as confirmation bias. With the way the internet and social media works, it doesn't really take long to find something that confirms our biases. So guys, I know this is something that's very hard to guard against. However, because a lot of our followers and friends really depend on us for accurate information, we ought to be careful what we like and in particular what we share to others. Here are three quick suggestions on what to do to guard against confirmation bias. One, be aware of your own biases and give yourself time to think about what you've just seen. Two, allow yourself to be curious to information that may challenge your own preconceived notion. Three, prioritize credible and authoritative sources over sources that simply confirm our own biases. So this election season and beyond, do not rush to accept, like, share or act on information online. Pause and reflect. Think about your own biases. I am Bernard Avlet and I pause and reflect on my biases before I share any information. Do you? Information is everything. Create it, use it, and share it responsibly this election. This message is brought to you by the Department of Communication Studies, University of Ghana, Legon, with support from DW Academy, PEM Plus Bytes, and the Canadian High Commission. Oh,